California Never been to LA So I'll stay home and write these songs Pretend I'll make it someday Good morning guys! Today is May 24th, Friday. It's already been, I believe, like two weeks since the opening of Gudadama Cafe. Basically, Gudadama, if y'all don't know, is a character in Sanrio. They recently opened a Gudadama character cafe in Buena Park. So Gudadama is basically like an egg character, right? Well, it looks like that. Like I said, this is not opening weekend because we knew there was going to be a shit ton of people during opening weekend. So we're like, nah, we like it and we were interested, but for us, we're too old. We don't want to wait in line and do all that stuff. I don't have high expectations because I've already kind of looked at the reviews. Okay, this is on Yelp. It has 92 reviews and it's like a 3.1 star. Like, that is not looking good. Yeah, I think a lot of people were really frustrated because there were a lot of kinks and whatnot that they had to sort out because they weren't ready for it during opening weekend. Mm -hmm. It's almost time. Ah, 10 a.m. <laughs> Let's dive into the world of Gudetama, the adorable and ever so lazy egg yolk character from Sanrio. Gudetama is a unique character that has captured hearts with its endearing laziness. The name Gudetama is a clever combination of the Japanese words for lazy, gude gude, and egg, tamago. This little yolk is often seen lounging around, embodying a sense of lethargy and apathy that resonates with many people in today's fast-paced society. Remember when we went to Japan, we tried the mango sparkly boba in Disney Sea? This should be it. Steven, give it a taste. Oh yeah, it does have the boba too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different, like like the Disneyland one. This one's more sparkly though. Created by Sanrio designer Emi Nagashima in 2013, Gure Tama was inspired by an egg she was preparing for dinner after a long day at work. The droopy demeanor of the yolk seemed cute and relatable, mirroring the feelings of many young people today who often feel tired about life. It's actually better than I thought it would be. I like how the brioche bun is actually really crispy. When you bite into it, there's a crunch. The sauce gives it a lot of flavor. It's kind of like a spicy mayo. That's okay. There's some weird like soy miso sauce on top. The menu features an array of egg-salent sandwiches, drinks, desserts, and more all infused with Gudetama's playful spirit. So, if you're a fan of Gudetama or just love unique dining experiences, the Gudetama Cafe is definitely worth a visit. Hello everyone! Hello! It is it's mid June. Mm -hmm. This is apparently when it's peak lavender season. I came here last year with my mom in my lavender festival vlog, but this year I'm bringing hubby. <laughs> to the lavender festival. I really enjoyed the time I had last year, so I wanted to come back and take a look at how it is now. Let's go. Let's go. The event entrance is over there. If you park in the parking lot, it's $20 for general parking, but they said there's free parking on the street, like right across from the festival. So that's just what we did and we just saved $20. Also, you need to buy your tickets in advance online. They do not allow walking. I like the lavender smells. It's very aromatherapeutic. So this is the general parking lot where you have to pay $20. So we didn't have to do that. Yay!
can't swallow There are over 45 species of lavender and 450 different varieties. This is the grill and barbecue, got burgers and fries, got lavender lemonade too. Hmm. What are you feeling? I asked you first, off camera, what are you feeling? Hey, well, I got the lavender pizza last year, so maybe let's try something different. Okay. You like pick. what? You pick. You want the grill or you want a burger? You pick. You want lemonade? I want lemonade. Okay. Let me look at the burger menu. Okay. Lavender lover, burger and fries. Burger. Wow, that was so fast. This is lavender lemonade? Yep. Ooh, it is packaged very nice. With a little lavender sticking on the top. I don't really taste the lavender. You? But it's not straight lemonade. Yeah, it's the little hint, the little hint of lavender. So I've got the lavender fries, lavender burger, and lavender ranch. Under a tree. Oh my god, this is so romantic. And so private. Ugh. I like the vibes here. This is so romantic. Oh yeah? It's so cute. Oh my god. Alright, time to stuff our faces. Yeah, so everything is lavender. Lavender sauce to dip the fries. That's sprinkled with lavender, right? Yes. Oh Alright, have, have a bite for it. It's purple, it's so weird. It's different. Mmm, the fries are good. Yeah. Pretty crunchy. Yeah, the ranch is very mild, mm -hmm. I would say. I think it's good that the lavender scent is mild. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I think it might be too much. Agreed. Agreed. We're gonna do the indigenous garden tour at 7. So what is it? They're gonna take us to the garden where the indigenous people... They probably grew the crops and, they, and they're probably gonna tell us how they used it. Oh. I don't know. Okay. We'll be, be, we'll be back here at 7. Haven't seen my twin brother I keep missing his clothes It's funny just how easily a family Finally getting married to an angel in I can see how it compares to your garden. My garden's Nashville was staying here the record. And this are Kawian Indians, yeah, they would use the agave for food fiber. Yeah, it's for sewing and stuff. Yeah. Trip to the beach or the life of James Dean, and it kills me to think I'm a I got moon tea, soft serve ice cream, cotton candy, smash burger. We just cut short the indigenous garden tour because it's a little slow, so we wanted to check out the rest of the place first. It's mm -hmm. getting dark. Mm -hmm. We're on a hunt for ice cream right now. So. In the pill, I can't swallow. And it comes, but it won't last. Like you watching your life, waiting for the good part. And what kills me? We came back yep. from the Lavender Festival, the 20th annual Lavender Festival. So how was it compared to last time? I would say this year is not 
as busy. Mm -hmm. We did come later, but it's also Father's Day. So yeah, a lot less people. The food was good. It was good. But you said the pizza was better last year. I like the pizza better. The lavender barbecue pizza. Uh, the fries were really good. Yeah, the fries are really good. Mm -hmm. And you said you liked the ice cream better last time. Yeah, last year I got the lavender vanilla swirl. This mm -hmm. year we got... The pineapple lavender. Vanilla. Swirl. Yeah, it, it felt like the flavor for the pineapple lavender started to get a little too much, I guess, after eating like a fourth of it. Everything is very lavender themed and scent. Yeah. If you're a huge fan of lavender. It is a little bit pricey though. Just the food and everything. Yeah, and it's quite a drive. I mean, it took us an hour to get here, but you know, whatever. It's a good like just night thing if you want something to do. Mm -hmm. so. It's very romantic, but also can be very family friendly. Yeah, they had like a lot of games like ping pong and chess and stuff. Mm -hmm. and we saw a lot of families like playing that. So. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. I've never been to California.